Good evening. We're at the Hearthside Readings here. And I'm going to read from three of my books of poetry. The first one is called Glass Teepee. So I'll read a few from there. This one is called Faith. My prayers are embedded in an old cracked rosary strewn with black fibs chained to a tarnished crucifix. I swore I could heal your tormented heart, but my real words hide in the private places of my soul, waiting to give voyage to the outer limits of my skin when my eyes give birth to the thunder beings sleeping within. It is then they speak stories of the sun-bleached blade we found dormant above the wet earth after the rain exposed bone piles. My soul is cool now, like those isolated skeletons waiting for a healing song to call us home. There are no chiefs anymore. Stark thought does not let my mind rest. I spend sleepless nights ripping apart destruction, ripping apart pain, ripping apart genocide in Indian country. In Indian country, picket fenced wrecks of rusted, weather beaten, one eyed Fords and no wheel Chevys corral government Indians. Bootleg Papa's pop wino delight jugs of five star. Mama sell crack between makeshift welfare programs and shipments of goods. An Indian country smiling Indian agents shake hands with skinny-legged buffalo-bellied men who believe they have purpose. In Indian country, half-educated yappers fly high at the mouth. Long-time professional students flamingo-step tight-assed into the secret rooms on Parliament Hill. With dogmatic diplomacy, they remind their audience of Wounded Knee, Oka, the Trail of Tears, but nothing gets done. Nothing gets done. Our reserves are fire traps, waste hazard incinerators, incest infected paradises, detonated bombs, and havens for Indian experts. Where have our chiefs gone? Small boy, big bear, Nikwala, where are you? They were winners. They were leaders. They were chiefs. In Indian country, I am ghost walker trudging in thick fog, heavy gray fog that lingers, never gives, that lingers, never rises, that lingers, never leaves. Like Gabriel's broken halo, a wretched thing given to hobby Indian chiefs, they are the ones prostituting their children, their mothers, their grandmothers, and my home. In Indian country, we don't have chiefs anymore, but puppet barrel fat mischiefs married to white. Those are the real leaders, leading their pony-tailed losers into sour Canadian dreams, lemon sweet dreams that lock the jaw into another form of dictatorship. Sign on the dotted line, she convinced him with her legs spread open. Brown, white, beige, half-breeds, no-breeds. White paper policies dominate. Self-government is no government. There are no lands set aside for the use and benefit of Indians. 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 How could it be? How could it be? In Indian country, the extermination policy constantly bulges from the retina of green-eyed, pot-bellied men who dare call themselves chief. This is just another cheap surprise. More ice filling veins, more sharp nails prying apart eyelids to keep sleep from entering, more scratching on chalkboards to send begging ears to the mercy of downy filled pillows, more to drive the mind into machine gun madness, more, 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 no more. In Indian country, this is just not about me. It is about a healthy past, a healthy present, and a healthy future, where flowers will grow in the dark for blind children, their children, their children, their children. Can they burn the truth into the eyes of the innocent? 
Can they burn the truth past the walls of my brown skin? Can they burn love into these lips and tell me they can love a man who hates the power of genocide? Can they hold me on a dark night and allow me to thrust my manhood along the cracked blood-stained walls where new life begins, emerges, falls, screams into the plastic hands of strangers? I will not bring a child into this world to kiss suicide. I will not touch pink lying lips. I will not protect century-old greed, the greed they lie for, the greed they protect, the greed they so dearly love. And I will no longer stand in silence while genocide seductively sucks the last remains from Indian country. We are the fixers of genocide. Stuffed buffaloes for smiling Indians. Voiceless, tongueless, smiling Indians chant old buffalo songs while staring and being stared at in buffalo museums. Some escape the taxidermist to roam chain-linked fences. Others lay on mansion floors and wish they could talk.